Welcome back, this is Polishing Your Movie, or Fine Tuning It. In this video, we're going to add transitions between images, and then pan and zoom will make movement in the image itself. To get started, I'm going to open up my folder, and remember from the last video, I kept everything nice and organized, images and sound in my file. So open that up. So I'm in my movie, and you can see here's my timeline, all the pictures lined up in a row, start to finish. Now look at this little black bar. This is my scrub bar, and if I grab and click and grab it, I can go between the images. I can also hit this play button down here to see a preview. So the scrub bar is showing right now there's no transition. It's just a cut from one to the other. But if I go up to the top here, under this animations heading, I can choose transitions that will add a little fine tuning or polish to my video. Right now there's no transition. This is the one you always want to use, default crossfade. And if you see, it kind of brings in, right now I'm on the very first picture, so it's showing a fade in. So it's bringing in black to show, from black to, to, to the image. So these are all the things I can start or end my film with. I can apply all. I'm going to click on this second image, and now I'll look at my transitions. You can see there are a number of different fancy transitions and they're all uh, very fancy, and I highly recommend only using the crossfade. Only use the crossfade. There it is right there. And if you use those other ones, it's, it's really obnoxious sometimes and distracting, and it's unprofessional. Use them only if it really calls for it. So I added that crossfade, and you can see, now I'll hit play, and it's a nice soft transition between the images. It doesn't distract. Uh, like a star wipe or you know things crumbling or a page turn it's a nice soft transition you'll notice up here that we can change the duration of the transition so now i've changed to 1.5 seconds so it's a much softer transition i'm going to hit apply to all and make now i have those little triangles going on in between every picture and it added a one and a half second crossfade between each of my images, right? What if I decide I want to remove that crossfade? I can, I can come up here to the transitions area, and if I scroll back up to the top, I can say none, none, no transition. And now I have a cut between the two. So crossfade and cut are the two kinds of transitions you really want to um, always use when you're creating your story. Transitions added. Now let's make sure to save that little button up at the top. Save. Okay, pan and zoom. This is going to add movement in our picture. Right now it looks static, and I want to zoom right in on my eyes. Look at the tab under animation, and then on the right here is pan and zoom. I can pull the tab down, and I can see all the different kinds of pans and zoom. This is the one that goes center zoom in. So I'm going to choose that. Now look at the top of my image has a little icon that saying that there's a zoom on there, pan and zoom. You can see it zooms in. I'll preview it, try it out. It's it's subtle, but it's there. All right. I can now do this to all my pictures. I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add the zoom in with a swirl on this one. So keep in mind what you want your audience to look at, to the, or better yet, how you want their eyes to be guided through this picture. So that's what pan and zoom will help you do. So I finished up with pan and zoom with my last one here. And there we go. I'm done. So I have little icons on all of them. And don't forget to save. Okay, that's it for this video. Next, we're going to record narration. We'll prep our location and our mic. Then we'll save and add our audio.